Hi ho everyone and welcome back to the adventures of Turwinkle the Gnome Mage. Well hi Turwinkle. Hello. Did you sleep well last night? Affirmative. Are you all ready to go this morning? Sure. Well let's get started then. Well we've already cleaned out our bags, put everything in the auction house, and we are ready to go. So let's see what we got for money here. We have 207 gold, 82 silver, and 99 copper pieces. So we are looking good on the gold front, and we are going to head on out. And what we're going to do is we're going to head back to Far Strider Lodge, continue our work there. So let's go ahead and gather up Minion, or George. Finally decided on a name for Minion, and we're going to call him George. George, our water elemental. And of course, we're going to hop on Glenn. And we are going to head on out. So we will see you folks when we get there. Alrighty, and we've made it here. Uh, we had a couple fights with some bobcats. We got two chip claws and a patch leather bracers for the fight. Um, and also some scratches on poor Turwinkle here. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to talk with Safety Warden Pipsy here and see uh, what we can do for her. How are you? Thistle while you work. It's stab thistle season. Stab thistle seeds are responsible for up to 89% of seed related injuries among hunters. And that's quite a quite a high number there. You will find stab thistle seeds mostly in the lower woodlands just north of the lodge. They're commonly found at the base of trees and they will stab and hurt you. I'd advise you to avoid them, but I actually need someone to remove help remove them for the sake of safety. Bring me back stab thistle seeds so we can make sure others don't get hurt. So our objective here is to collect six stab thistle seeds. We'll receive eight silver and 1,450 experience. Okay, so we'll accept that for safety warden Pipsy. It looks like they're down there along the road. So we'll hop on Glen and we will see you folks down there. All right, and we're in the area now of where we can find the stab thistle seeds. That's actually kind of hard to say. It. It's hard on the tongue. All right, let's hop. Thank you, Glenn. We've got a bear right next to some stab thistles. You can see it gleaming over there by the tree. So we'll get rid of the bear first here. Let's get him, George. And one more should do it. There we go. And let's see if we can... Uh, Collect this. Oh man, careful, careful, Turwinkle. Okay, there's one seed. Looks like we're going this way. Oh, I see another one right there. This one, hopefully, and there's another one right there. This one should go by pretty quickly. Careful not to stab yourself with the stab thistle seed. Boy, try saying that. You know, three times fast. <laughs> Uh, that's actually a pretty hard thing to say. Uh, stab thistle seeds. Oh, boy, there's one in the one in the bush here. Almost passed it up. And do do do. There's another bear right there. Let's get him before he gets us. Get him, George. Uh, I imagine. This hopefully will uh, help us get um, some reputation with uh, Nomergon, because it is a gnome that gave us the quest. So that would be nice. And one more stab thistle seed. Hey, is that? Is that? Uh, I think that was. I think that's Ashtail again. Who it is? Let's let's get him. Get him, George. Oh, oh, I forgot he can do that. Oh. He can teleport. Oh. oh, he's running away. Get him, George. All right, level 21. Excellent. Excellent job. All right, level 21. Nice. Oh, it's right here. Too far away. What? I need to get close. What the heck? Okay, it's right there. I 
can't reach that. What the heck? Too far away. Huh. Oh no. He's bugged. I need to get closer. I can't reach that. Okay. I need to get closer. I'm gonna try targeting Turnwink or George. Too far away. Hmm. Well, I'll be darned. I can't I can't loot him. Let's see if we can loot this. Okay, we can loot that. Why can't we loot him? That's weird. Did he disappear? Okay, I don't see where did I lose him? Oh, that's a bummer deal. It's right here. I can't reach that. That's huh. Well, shoot, folks. Looks like we can't uh, loot Ashtail. I think what happened was he was teleporting. Let's see if we can see where he might have. There's another. Because I believe he was teleporting when we killed him. Oh, that's too bad. Hmm. That is a shame. All right, well. Easy come, easy go, I guess. Well, we will go ahead and... Oh, I'm bummed out about that. We'll go ahead and return uh, to uh, the Far Strider Lodge, and we shall see you folks when we get there. Oh, that's, that's too bad, George. And we're back uh, at the Far Strider Lodge. So, yeah, I'm still kind of bummed about not being able to pick up, pick up uh, our stuff there off Ashtail. I don't know if you can just loot him once. It's, doesn't seem right, but okay. Hey! Handle them safely now. Well, I did. I've been informed there's a bear warning active for the woodlands as well. They love those st stab thistle seeds. It's a good thing you gathered. It's a good thing you've gathered those so they don't attract more bears. Well, yeah, we did have to kill a couple bears. So, stop everything. It's come to my attention that there's been bobcat sightings near the lodge. Bobcats. Um, yeah, we can tell you all about bobcats. Now, mind you, I've never seen a bobcat. I've seen plenty. They're all over the place. But they're surely dangerous. They're like mountain lions or something. I don't want anyone leaving until the area is secure. Anyone but you, that is. Hey, wait a minute. I got a bad feeling that uh, she doesn't care about me. I'll pay you to help secure the area, mage. But don't get your face ripped off. Kill eight bobcats. With a pleasure. I do not like yeah, bobcats. They don't like me, now. actually. So, all right. Well, actually, we don't have to go too far. I don't even know if I, we need to get Glenn, but Glenn doesn't like to be kept uh, kept all cooped up. So we will uh, hop on Glenn, and we'll just ride right over here. We ran into quite a few, as you can see by the little shaded area. Yeah, because we tried to make a cut through here, so we had to fight a couple on our way here already. Watch out, Turwinkle. He will hop on you. See, look at that. Uh. Okay, I've got him blocked up there. Get him, George. All right. There we go. One down. Again, this is not one of the grind quests because we're going to just kill eight and call it good. There doesn't seem to be as many people here as there was in the last episode. So we're pretty clear to take all the bobcats for ourselves. Here he comes, he's gonna leap. Alright, get him George. And bam. Alright. Two down, six to go. Got some more junk there. We got more chipped claws and uh, what is that? Laced male gloves. It's your junk. Did get some bear meat, two ruined pelts, four chip claws. So there you go. Another so bobcat. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, 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 oh! Hiding in the bushes. Get him, George. Ah. Oh no. Hopefully that ram will just take off. Let's see, hopefully he doesn't come back to attack us. 
Because I forgot that, uh, you know, we had the poor poor uh, ram next to us. Hopefully he'll, he'll be okay and won't, uh, won't attack us. Looks like we're clear. Get him, George. Get George will get his attention. That will give us just that time that we need to get him down like that. Halfway to our goal of eight. And I got to tell you folks, today it is absolutely gorgeous out here. Gorgeous in Spokane today. The weather is nice. The sun is shining. Fortunately, I have to sleep during the day. And so that makes... Uh, Makes days like this hard to hard to sleep because one you want to be outside and, and enjoying it, and uh, two you know uh, the sun shines no matter if you have blinds and stuff on your windows. The sun the sun the sun still manages to get through. The room stays a little brighter than normal on sunny days like this, but it is nice to see spring has sprung. And uh, so we enjoy that kind of weather. So that means a lot of lawn mowing in the future here. Before we have to start doing that. So hopefully the weather's good for you folks wherever you're at. It's still snowing in parts of the country, which is crazy. A little wacky. All right. Oh, looks like there's one over here. There's two more to go. We don't mind killing the bobcats. They seem to be the only thing that's really put up any kind of a, a good challenge for us uh, here in the Loch Mordan area. As you can see up there on the health bar, the Trowinkles hurt a little bit because they can they they have that leap that uh, gets them in close. I think that is a bobcat right there. Yes. All right, last one here. Well, bam. Bam, bam. Freezing. And wham. All right, all eight done. Hop on Glenn. Head on back. I think, because how quickly, Lord, Lord Condor, okay, another rare, oh, he's on us, he's on us, and blink, okay, hold him there, George, hold him there, 343, nice hit, oh, okay, let's do the ice flow, looks like he was doing like a tornado on us there, let's get him, oh, nice, Whoa! He was shaking the earth or something there. A nice, wow, great bit of experience there. 2482. So let's see what he had. Oh, well, thank goodness it lets us loot. So we got. Well, not there. <laughs> not the map. We got a map. Uh, we received a light feather, small egg, and some soldier boots of the boar off the Lord Condor. Nicely done, Turwinkle. Way to go. In fact, you know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't done our famous little victory dance. We're going to do that now. That's right. Turn Winkle's good. He's got it. He's got it. Look at him shuffle there. Look at him shuffle. That's right. That's right. There we go. There we go. Look at <laughs> Cut up the rug there, Turn Winkle. Cut up the rug. Excellent job, sir. Excellent job. Oh, oh okay, Turn Winkle. Now you're just getting Now you're just getting silly with it. <laughs> All right, let's move on out, and we will head uh, back into the First Rider Lodge and let Safety Warden Pipsy know, taking care of the Bobcat problem and the Lord Condor problem as well. Oh, there's a Bobcat right there. Scooch around him. All right. 
Yeah, that was a great a bit of experience off that condor. Gave us a lot more experience than the uh, quest we're going to turn in. Thank you, Glenn. All right. <laughs> My, you're a tall one. Am I really? I guess I am. Heard that before. Okay, Defcon Bobcat. Okay, yes. I already have been informed that the Bobcats are much smaller than I was assuming, but that's still pretty dangerous for gnomes. You've done a good thing for the safety of this lodge, Trowinkle. Oh, well, thank you. So, turn Goodbye that in. Goodbye for now. Goodbye for now. Yes, hopefully we'll see you again. And we, who do we have there? We've got... Oh, Colgan, recruit of the Black Company from the Moon Garage server. Okay. So, let's see who else we have over here. We've got an innkeeper. And we've got the griffin. Oh, there is a flight point here. How are you? How are you? Okay, wow. Off with you. Off with you. <laughs> yeah, off with you. Off with you. Okay, and we're going to go what ahead and make this, our, this in our home. Except, thank you. Alrighty, oh, oh, and there goes Colgan. He's riding some sort of flying mount. Let's talk to Bingle's Blastenheimer here. Let's see what he's got for us. Minion, or George. <laughs> Alright, George, go stand over. Take a look at the Griffins, would you? Okay. Hey! Wingnut. I'm through with gyrocopters. Sure, they work, but when has it ever been a good enough for a real gnome? I want flight with wings. Um, yeah, that, uh, no oh boy. I've been studying birds for years now, trying to unlock the final secret to building a machine that flies just like them. That elegant soaring and swooping, the rush of the wind over the wings, ah. You, you can help me. I need the finest flight feathers you can find. The golden eagle circling near the lodge would be a fine choice. So our quest objective here is to collect three pristine flight feathers from the Golden Eagles. We'll receive nine silver, 1,600 experience. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Yes, indeed. So let's go see. And it looks like it's just right over here. Can I jump up over there? Minion, follow me. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can jump up over. Eh. No. Eh. Oh yeah, we can. Let's see if we can drop down. Boop. All right, see, so we're right into the heart of, right in the heart of the matter. And I know I saw some of the uh, golden eagles over in this area here. In fact, there's one right there. I wonder if you have to kill them for the golden eagles, or if we can just look for them. I guess we will find out. And bam. feather there. There's another golden needle up there. So I love the ranged. If I was just a warrior, that would have been a difficult uh, task. To, well, I guess I could have... Well, maybe I could have uh, called him down. Some canvas shoes. Boy, I hope they're just not like feathers that you would find on the ground and we're not killing these eagles unnecessarily because I don't like to have to kill eagles bobcats I don't mind because bobcats are kind of vicious but the eagles whoop, speaking of vicious bobcats eh. ah. okay, that's right get his attention George. ah dang that bobcat Ah, you stupid bobcat. Eh. Sheesh. What was that? Okay, let's see what we got there. Willow Gloves of the Falcon. They say they are an upgrade for me. Item level 16. Oh yeah, look at that. You bet this is going to be great. Plus one agility and plus one intellect. So, by changing this out, I'll gain 9 armor, 1 agility, and we'll gain an intellect. We will lose a stamina, however. So that means we will lose a little life. 
We're at 762 with our max. Oh, with our new gloves on, that only drops us 10 hit points. Oh, and they look fancy. Look at that. They're the uh, fingerless gloves. So, more more muscles for <laughs> Turnwinkle to show off. Do we have, when well, we still haven't collected a single pristine feather yet. So, let's see if we can get those here. feather please. Ha, there's one. See that's all you gotta do is just ask nicely. Just ask nicely they'll give you the feather. So it's good to know that we're not having to kill them unnecessarily. Uh, pristine feather please. <laughs> See it worked again. And one more. One more pristine feather. Another uh, eagle over here, but it looks like oh, bobcat corpses over here as well. Looks like somebody was over here killing bobcats. It wasn't us because I don't think the bodies would hang around that long. They would have decayed by now. Pristine feather, please. Let's see if that worked again. It did. Look at that. See, that's, manners get you everywhere, folks. Manners get you everywhere. We'll hop back on Gwen here and head on back to the uh, Farstrider Lodge. I believe that the Dwarf Hunter was the one that maybe killed all these bobcats. Look like there's a way around that side. Uh, definitely around this side. Way to go, Glenn. You're a fine, fine mount, sir. Fine mount. In we go. And hop off of that. Thank you, Glenn. We'll turn this in, and then we will turn in for the day. Pleased to meet you. Only the finest feathers will do. Well, look what I have. Three of the pr mo most beautiful feathers you will ever find. Beautiful. You got an eye for quality. Well, yes, I do. Thank you. Great minds think a lot. It's clear you've got an enthusiasm for flight and fowl, so maybe you can help me further. Okay. All right. Well, we will have to... Uh, Off and away. We will come back to you, sir. We won't forget you. Well, let us go ahead and sell all the junk to Xander here. Xander what can here. I do for you? Well, you can buy my junk, sir. Whoop. Okay, we'll see what we sold here. We sold the patched leather bracers, two ruined pelts, the laced mail gloves, thin black claw, plucked feather, Canvas shoes, chip claw, and the or or ornamental mace. See you soon. Looks like. Cool again. Wanted to uh, say something to us. Oh, and he disappeared. So, let's see if he did say anything. Yeah, it doesn't look like he did. Okay, he didn't say anything to us. Looked like he had wanted to say something. Maybe he recognized Turwinkle. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, and can he repair? No, he can't repair. Well, George, thank you very much for helping today. Did a great job, as always. So we will let you go to bed. And it doesn't look like there's a place for Turwinkle to sleep. So, he will have to just camp out, maybe on one of these benches over here. But let's go ahead and head on over here. And so, not an eventful day. We picked up some, what were they, the, oh, I can't think of the name of those seeds. <laughs> the stab thistle seeds. Yes, took me a second there. Stab th so we gathered up stab thistle seeds, killed a few bears while doing it. 
uh, fought Ashtail again, but unfortunately, for some reason, he was bugged and weren't able to uh, collect anything off him, which was strange. Uh, so we came back, and then there was the DEFCON Bobcat, so we had to go out and kill all those Bobcats, which we don't mind doing, because, uh, again, we've got quite a few scratches from just riding around, Bobcats jumping on us, so it was good to clear some of those out. And lastly, fought some Golden Eagles to get some pristine feathers for uh, Bingle's Blastenheimer there. Got him the feathers, and it looks like he wants us to help him build a, a flying machine further. So next episode, we will continue to help him. So if you liked what you saw here today, click like. If you didn't like it, well, I guess you'll have you'll click the dislike button. We ask that you, if you do though, please let us know why you didn't like it. We ask even more so if you do like what we're doing, go ahead and let us know in the comments below. So either way, if you didn't like us, go ahead and comment. If you liked us, go ahead and comment. We, we take all comments, and we read them all, and we do uh, try our best to adjust our videos if we need be uh, to something a little more enjoyable that you folks might like. Um, if you'd like to subscribe to the series, that would be great. That means you'll get all the Turnwinkle goodness delivered right into your subscription box right away as soon as the next episode is available. So... With that said, Turwinkle, excellent job, sir. And we will see you later, Turwinkle. It's been fun. It has been fun. Bye-bye.